Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7 on basically any device that runs iOS 7. Uh, so, of course, this is compatible with your iPad Air, your iPhone 5S, 5, iPod Touch 5, whatever you have um, that will work for this. I'm going to be, of course, demonstrating this on a 4S. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing it on my 5S, which is actually right here, is because um, my 5S has stuff on it, and I actually want to restore it, fresh restore it, because a few things have been going wrong with it. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, jailbreaking that later so this is a fresh restored 4s uh, so of course the best thing to do is to fresh restore the device jailbreak and then you'll probably uh, be better with uh, speed issues and stuff like that uh, so usually a fresh restore is the best thing to do but of course most people do not and then uh, they may have issues they may not uh, so the best thing to do I, I suggest is restore especially if you did an over-the-air update typically those cause issues with the jailbreak so I definitely suggest a restore uh, now another thing you want to do is to uh, go ahead and take off your passcode for this um, this is of course a 4s I'll show you that by uh, holding the home button and then we have Siri um, again this is fresh restore there's not even anything on this one uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the evasion uh, website uh, we are going to be performing this on a Mac um, but it's essentially the same on a Windows machine so we're just going to go ahead and click download there um, so it's ultimately the same on Windows you're just going to download and run this program it's very very similar uh, so it should be universal but if anyone has any questions be sure to leave them down below um, so we're here we're going to be jailbreaking this for us I'm actually quite excited because I haven't jailbroken any of my devices on iOS 7 yet um, besides the iPhone 4 um, but here's my 5s um, I'm going to be uh, uh, well the uh, the touch ID is not working that's one of the problems. I'm just going to try to restore it. Um, that's why I'm not performing it on that. But again, it is going to work for that. It's going to work for your iPhone 5, which I have right here as well. Um, it's going to be working for your iPad mini and your iPad. Any iPad, basically everything's going to work. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and go over to my downloads. Um, it's actually a DMG file, so we're just going to open that up. We'll go ahead and drag that over to my desktop. I know my desktop is very cluttered. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and click that one, open it up, and it's very, very simple. All you're going to have to do is click jailbreak, and uh, your device is going to start jailbreaking. Um, so the reason why I did do it on a fresh restored 4S is just so that I could um, show you the fastest process possible, um, and that, uh, of course, it's a 4S, so it is going to be jailbreaking the device that wasn't able to be jailbroken before. Uh, so I'm just going ahead and let this uh, speed up. So at this point, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and unlock your device and tap the new evasion icon. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to reboot the device. Okay, and it looks like it just finished up. Um, of course, the program is done, so we're just going to slide to unlock. I'm going to go over here, and we see Cydia. Uh, so there we go. The device was, in fact, jailbroken. Um, so it should be noted that a lot of things aren't going to be working on iOS 7, including like a lot of these packages, because they need to be updated for iOS 7. Even though iOS 7 has been out for a while, the only device that was able to be jailbroken was um, a uh, iPhone 4. So... Um, oh, we're just going to ignore this because this phone isn't activated. Um, but basically, Cydia is going to work perfectly. I'm going to let this uh, go ahead and 
go through so that you can see that Cydia is working properly. Of course, expect uh, Cydia to be very slow and sluggish because a lot of people are going to be jailbreaking iOS 7. Um, but it is very, very exciting to be able to jailbreak iOS 7. I know that I am very excited to be able to, be able to tether on my iPhone 5S. And I also want a few other tweaks for my 5S because uh, i use using that every day and there's a few things that I've been missing uh, with my jailbreak. Okay, and the device just resprang, so we're just going to go ahead and unlock. I'm going to click on Cydia, and it's going to ask us uh, what we are. I just click developer, because then there are no filters. And uh, there we will see that Cydia is going to be working perfectly. Um, so there we go. Right there is Cydia. Of course, it's going to have to get all the packages and all that good stuff. Um, but that was how to jailbreak iOS 7. Uh, so this is going to work for any device that runs iOS 7, uh, which is very, very exciting. Untethered, of course. Uh, so that is very, very exciting. I know that I said exciting twice because I am definitely excited for this. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm excited to get my... 5S jailbroken. I gotta restore it because, of course, that Touch ID is not working and that all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, look forward to more videos. Let me know if you want to see all the jailbreak tweak videos. I know that uh, you've been missing those that stuff mostly because one, I'm busy, and two, there hasn't been a jailbreak for a while. So, uh, look forward to all those jailbreak tweak videos. And then I also uh, am doing a lot of uh, reviews on cases and accessories for the iPhone. So let me know if you want to see a review of something. I um, I could purchase it or I can ask the company to send it for review purposes, uh, either or. If you want to see me review something, you want to see me uh, just anything you would like to see, I, uh, I'm willing to do a video on it. So guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.